हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू पाकिस्तानी यूनिक रिएक्शन तो कैसे हैं आप सब मेरा नाम है मुदसर हम वर्षराज की गाइस वीडियो बहुत कमाल की है फॉरेनर रिव्यू करेगा पाकिस्तानी बाइक्स को और इंडियन बाइक्स को सेम फॉरेनर है इंडिया में वो रहा भी है और पाकिस्तान में भी ये फॉरेनर रहा है ये वायद ऐसा हो रहा है बाकी में जो दोनों देशों में रहा है कार लॉ को आप लोग जानते होंगे तो भाई इन्होंने की है पाकिस्तानी बाइक्स का रिव्यू और इंडियन बाइक्स का रिव्यू क्योंकि इंडिया में मोस्टली ये इनका एक फैमिली भी है हाँ भाई उधर शादी भी है तो भाई बहुत कमाल का एक्सपीरियंस होने लगा गैस आज देखना पाकिस्तानी बाइक्स कैसी है और उधर कैसी है कार्डून करते हैं पाकिस्तान <laughs> You're going to see and I'll talk a little bit about these models too. There's actually three models here. So one is the original and two are the fake copies from China. <laughs> China ne ha. Baaki kaafi hain China se. So Pakistan doesn't have a massive array of motorcycles like we do have in India because they don't have a huge local manufacturer like in India we have Royal Enfield, right? We have the full mm. array of Royal Enfield bikes. We are so lucky in India. Mm. Then we have other international manufacturers like KTM building bikes mm. in India as well and we can buy those for really Apne really bajaj, amazing prices. Mm. Here in Pakistan you just have the CD 70 or the CD 125 which I'll show you mm. soon and then you have it's clones as well so let's let's have a walk around the cd70 clones we have this is the bike you're going to see all over pakistan it is basically for family har jagah pe hai this is the workhorse you can fit i've seen six people have been fit on this bike you can have a baby <laughs> here shape but the red jaate hai waqi patle couple of a couple of daughters here and then the mom jo chalane wala hota hai wo tehreek mein hota hai get sandwiched in like that It is 70 cc. You have a tiny yeah. tiny motor down here. You have drum brakes. It's kick start as well. It weighs 80 kg so it's extremely light. My Kawasaki Versys back home in New Zealand, that's like 210 kg and top speed. And it's about Kawasaki say 90 km an hour but I don't know about that. I can see it getting to like 70 or 80. But yeah, apparently you can get this to 90 the speedo goes up to yeah honda ka hai cd 70 just super super basic but right? this is is the most popular motor so honda hi le sa across pakistan no doubt about it it costs it about 80000 pakistani rupees which is mm. it's just nothing that's like 40000 rupees okay. guys ye thoda purana review hai and because this bike is so ubiquitous in pakistan, pakistan you can't go wrong with getting repaired if it breaks down in your pakistan there was always a mechanic in every single corner who's going to know how to fix it just like royal enfield bikes <laughs> in <laughs> india as well good luck trying to get or road an imported Kawasaki or some big bore Suzuki fix like not going to happen this can be fixed literally anywhere in Pakistan and I just want to show you ah, so it's yeah. Honda but they put a tag line here okay it says cash deposit bas ye isi tarah ka bhi bhi aa raha hai stands for cash deposit and i thought i didn't realize this is actual this is real branding from Honda and they say cash deposit because you could just sell these bikes any time you want to get rid of it they are that popular big jagger is in mount here in pakistan so they literally call it cash deposit 70 there's not much more to say about this bike let's go around to a couple of the counterfeit bikes which came around after these bikes got so popular now here we have the road prince and their tagline is cash for ever 70 and this nike bike from china they cost like 40000 rupees and the original Abhi Honda ye, cost 8,000 rupees. So, yeah, basically half the price for a Chinese clone of this bike and it is exactly <laughs> the same okay everything is the same in this bike you it's it's just it's so impossible to tell them apart on the road they'll even sometimes put the Honda logo because yeah, 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 yeah this one come come check out the back here so this isn't a Honda but you know It even says Honda at the back. It is is Road Prince. Okay, there's there's Ravi as well. I just want to show you how damn similar they are, all right? So this one says Honda right there, right? On the speedo. Now we come over 
Honda needs to have a small design and the back end of the road pins, RP70, and just look. Look what they've written on the Speedo. See, Speedo is basically the same, but it says Hundo. 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 Yeah, Honda can be copied by Hundo, am I? Yeah, Hundo. And you can see just kind of how similar these bikes are, right? <laughs> yeah, road prints. Yeah, the road prints has a bit of a paint job, <laughs> but that, that's a special paint job he's put on there. Actually, China. those kind of Hundo. American stripes. I mean, China too, so you can see the motor is so similar. across to the motor here. Same, same. So, so similar, guys. The lights, the light unit may even be exactly the same. That's a Honda, and this is the Road Prince Hundo. Hundo. Like, it's exactly the same, right? Like, <laughs> these Chinese kits have just literally cloned everything, even what down to that? the gas tank. Look at that cap. Gas tank, we said. Look at this cap. Like exactly the same, right? Zero Koi. difference. Yeah, jab uh, bike just bande ne jaat ki thi na. Sabse pehle usne ye bike banar ke rasti thi Pakistan ke liye ek koi mai. Sare like, chalaye, sare chalaye, sare chalaye. Well, and the road prince guys even put Honda on the back. At least he spelt it right that time. Not Hundo. And I'll just I'll just show you one more Ravi. Ro Ravi, yeah, right? Ravi. Ravi. Honda. Not Honda, they're right. Honda. 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 It's just it's too much, man. It's too much, these clones. And so this is the other clone as well. This is United, and their tagline is Urgent Sale. So you can always sell one of these. And again, exactly half the price of the Honda CD70. So yeah, that's how popular this one bike is. You can get imported bikes here, but they are so expensive. Only rich people can afford them. Kind of similar to India as well as massive import duties on foreign bikes in Pakistan and in India. But unfortunately, Pakistan doesn't have amazing local manufacturing. Like, they don't have a Royal Enfield brand, they don't have cheap KTMs or BMWs that we have locally produced in India. So unfortunately, they're kind of stuck with these bikes. Imagine if they were allowed to buy Royal Enfield bikes and Royal Enfield was allowed to sell them in Pakistan. Imagine how good that would be for India and for Pakistani riders as well. Now there is one more option if you want something a little bit more powerful here in Pakistan. This is the CG125. It is the same as the CD, but you've got that 125 cc engine, which can take you up to 105 kilometers per hour. And you can Indian see the engine is vertical. It's not horizontal like that. Just, just small differences. And this is the bike that everybody wants. Okay, it's like the classic 350 ah. In, ah. in India. This, right in this is the beast India. if you want to, you know, own the classic roads 350 here they in Pakistan. This is what I'd be riding if, if I lived here in Pakistan. But I live in India, I live in Delhi, and I've got the Royal Enfield Himalayan. That's what. And people here in Pakistan are customizing their CD70s as well. There's a few funny ones here. So this guy, I don't know why. He's put an Apple logo on the back. He's put a, a, like a couple of hearts for his wife. And then for him, for himself, he's written boss. It's his <laughs> boss. boss on the seat there. And then that's him, you know, the lion. That's him. Rawr. And this guy, this guy's doing something else. He's put some kind of skull and crossbones and written killer across there as well. Then we have some kind of comic book here. Black lizard. I don't know who black lizard is, but he's done that. Oh, but this is the saddest one. Come over here, Dosto. Come here, Dosto. This guy's motorcycle says, says, oh my God. <laughs> Alone, but happy. Alone and there's a photo of like a sad happy. boy on it uh. as well. Poor guy, I hope he finds a girlfriend or something to ride on his bike with him or gets married and, you know, gets a family. Alone, but and happy. And it, it says, live to ride. And then you've got, it says style mm -hmm. on here. I wonder if he knows what that means. I don't know what this one means. Someone have to translate this for me. But it says full nasha and then he's got alcohol and, and wine which are completely illegal here in Pakistan. A lot of customization options here in Pakistan for your CD70s. So this is a situation of modified not so exciting but I guess if I had to choose a bike here I'm definitely going to go for the CG125. I'm going to put some bags on the rear so I can take it 
into the mountains. And you can take the CG125 into the mountains just fine. And I'm pretty sure people would, you know, make do with the Road Prince RP fitness as well into the mountains too. So, Road Prince. Yeah. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Yeah, it was awful, if uh, you are yeah. from Pakistan, what do you guys think of the Royal Enfield bikes? Would you guys yeah. love to have those here? In I'm, Royal I'm pretty sure you yeah, would because. Yeah, they're good bikes for a good, for a good price. Basically. 50. A Indian bike, देखो. इन्हीं का video है ताकि आपको मजा आए. Road देखो भाई. चलाते हुए मजा आता. Royal Enfield के कपड़े भी पहने. हाँ, ये full biker है बंदा. India में तो ये रहा है. So I know this bike and right now I'm going to give you my owner's review and show you <laughs> and show you the genuine accessories. <laughs> I've taken the Himalayan to hell and back. I've taken it to lay and back. I've taken it off-roading in the rocky plains of Haryana. And then recently I've ridden it halfway across India literally from Delhi to Delhi. <laughs> thousand kilometers mm. all up I've rode this bike like six thousand kilometers so I know this bike so right now I'm gonna share with you my owner's review of the Himalayan and show you the genuine accessories that I have on this bike and this isn't gonna be a technical review I don't care about the BHP this is an arm army review for an arm army like me I want to know is it a good bike what can I do with it and should I buy it the Himalayan is a bike that can go anywhere and that's what I like about it. It can go anywhere except for the track. Which is fine for me because I'm riding it around the city and I'm taking it on trips around India. different point of view And what I love about it, the most important thing for me is how comfortable the ride is. So this bike has long travel suspension and that just makes the ride so much more comfortable on bad Indian roads. All right, let's check out the genuine Royal Enfield accessories that I have on this bike. Genuine, I mean, you get it with you. Let's start with the panniers. And these panniers are compact. Okay, that's what I love about them. You guys know that I hate carrying luggage. And I hate anything that like... And I hate anything that makes, you know, the ride so big and it just screws with me weaving through traffic. But these are compact. And they don't wreck the handling of the bike, which is another important thing for me. Price, there is nothing eh? worse than overloading the bike with it. crazy panniers here, here, you up here, bag. in the middle. I see people overloading their bikes and I hate it. <laughs> so many things <laughs> <other than that. laughs> so you have to kind of like juggle <laughs> them on to get them to fit. But these fit perfectly, they mount perfectly. And these aluminium panniers, they also come with a kit so you can move the position of the indicators to the very back of the bike because they're going to get stuck behind the panniers otherwise. And you can also mount a number plate a little bit higher on this kit that it comes with as well. The second thing I have is the genuine aluminium handlebar mm -hmm. and cross brace. Yeah, bike handlebar is made of bike aluminium yeah. alloy. Mm -hmm. And this cross brace, it adds strength to the handlebar and it cuts down a little bit of the buzzing. Like, I don't feel any buzzing at all with this handlebar, actually. And if you ride the BS3 and the BS4 back to back, you're gonna prefer this handlebar. Mm -hmm. I do. The third genuine accessory I have are these handlebar end weights. And what they do is they also reduce the buzzing in the handlebar the And they have sticker the lawn, but the bike falls. These are going to protect it better than those rubber bands sort of that it comes with. When you're traveling across India on the Himalayan, it has so many mount points. You can like use bungee cords and attach anything to this bike. So what I do when I don't have these genuine Royal Enfield panniers on the back here, I just get a couple of bungee cords and I tie my bag right to the back seat. My bag is my pillion on all my rides. And that's it. A couple of bungee cords. You can tie anything to this bike easily. I know I can take this bike anywhere in India. I can take it up into the Himalayas where it was meant to be road or I can just, you know, if there's a traffic jam in Delhi, I can go off the road, oh. onto the grass, onto the dirt, onto the stones, and just jaga that hai. traffic jam. Mm. Ah, I can get ahead of the traffic, that's what I like about this bike, it goes everywhere. Mm. 
I've ridden both the BS3 and the BS4 models of this bike. And what BS3 is, it's just the fuel emissions and the pollution standards. Hey, wait, shut! So like I was saying, I've ridden the BS3 like 3,000 kilometers and I've ridden the BS4 3,000 kilometers as well. And what BS4 is, it's the pollution emissions standard. And the BS3, the older model, the first model of the Himalayan, I took it to lay and a few parts fell. So the Sari guard magically disappeared while I was riding over some mountain and I got a few punches as well. So we were riding through Haryana and yeah, I got a puncture and the tire was like brand new. It shouldn't happen, right? But apparently in this BS4 model, they have fixed these problems. So the tires have been upgraded and you're not gonna hopefully have these annoying punctures so frequently. And the Sari guard has not fallen off, it's still there. Maybe they've applied a bit more duct tape to it. And some people are saying there's a difference in the ride quality between the BS3 and this BS4. People are saying this BS4 has more torque and it can go a bit faster. And and I can't really cool. tell a difference. I have many the BS3, I don't know modern. why, but it felt more solid to ride. I don't know if that's my imagination, but the BS4 feels a bit I don't know what the word is. I think it's my imagination. Maybe there's no difference. This is the video. I mean, it's a simple thing. It's a Indian bikes. When we review the Pakistani bikes, we were very happy. We were very happy. We were very happy. Check the modification. Check the modification. And check the copy. Check the Honda. We said, why are we on the bike? We are on the bike. We are on the bike. We are on the bike. ऊपर से लानत चाइना पे भी भाई तू कॉपी करके भी फिर भी वही तूने चीज दी है तू कुछ चाहता तू कुछ अच्छा रेवोल्यूशन पाकिस्तान में लेकर आता अच्छा लुक लेकर आता होंडा बेगारत को भी शर्म आ जाती है चाइना पे क्यों लानत है हमारे पाकिस्तानी कहाँ गए वो बनाए ना क्यों नहीं बना सकते हैं क्यों नहीं को कॉपी कर रहा है तो कुछ अच्छा रेवोल्यूशन पाकिस्तानी में तो को काटी नहीं है इस तरह कुछ लाने सही बात है यार और भाई दूसरी बात मैं मजे की बताऊँ हमारे पास इलेक्ट्रिक बाइक भी होते हैं उसके नीचे इसी के नीचे बैटरी लगा वो बैटरी लगा देते हैं सेम आप यकीन करो इतना यार कौन घेर सकता है इसी के नीचे लुक सेम है और अगले को इतना पसंद आया बाइक ये इंडिया में रहकर हायाबुसा कभी ले ले सकता था कवासाकी का कोई भी ले सकता था इन्होंने रॉयल इन्फ्लुएंस लिया मतलब देख लो यार आप फिर ये फिर फॉरेनर्स की पसंद है आपको किसका कहना है अपने रेकमेंडेशन में दें अपना बहुत ज़्यादा ख्याल रखना तो है